The Grangemouth Refinery and Petrochemical site in Scotland has a rich heritage dating back to the 1920s. Throughout this time, it has been at the forefront of innovation, most recently in 2013, when INEOS embarked on a significant investment programme to breathe new life into the site. Nick Thatcher went to find out more. The refining and petrochemical plants at Grangemouth have dominated this part of the Scottish landscape for almost a century. Here there's capacity to make 9 million litres of clean fuels per day and more than 1 million tonnes of chemical product per year. But in 2013, faced with dwindling raw materials from the North Sea, its future was hanging in the balance until a deal was struck to import ethane by ship from the USA. I still get goosebumps thinking about it. Our business is reliant on feedstocks. And over the years, a decline in the North Sea feedstocks meant a decline in our business. And when you coupled that with uh, an unsustainable cost base, the business was only going to go in one direction. And therefore, the, the vision that Ineos then had to get US ethane to come and be the feedstock was quite visionary. It was a huge challenge to implement the whole project and all the various facets of it and then get us to a place where we've actually secured the future of the business. And creating this virtual pipeline across the Atlantic not only involved building eight specially designed ships, but the redesign of jetties in the docks at Grangemouth and the construction of this giant tank to store the ethane on site. And to give you some idea as to the sheer size of this tank, it could hold 560 double-decker buses inside. Well, it says a lot about the company. It says a lot uh, about how entrepreneurial we are, how forward-looking we are, and uh, what our long-term visions are. So the transformation of Grangemouth has required a lot of resources financially, but also from the work efforts. And, and this tank is basically the example for, for that achievement. What's more, the new ethane supply is providing sufficient raw material to run the chemicals manufacturing site at full rates, which is something that's not been possible for years. And a new furnace here will increase capacity still further. We produce ethylene and propylene, ethylene being our main product. That then goes to polymer plants and everyday household goods, plastics uh, are manufactured. This new furnace will help the KG plant to run at uh, full rate. Other furnaces will come out for maintenance and that will pick up the slack. It's exciting. It's very exciting, yeah. Glad to be a part of it. And this transformation also means new opportunities for the next generation of technicians and engineers, like Sean, who's grown up locally with the plant as the backdrop to his life. I think it, it, when I first got my apprenticeship, I was I was really happy. I was ecstatic to know that I was going to be here for four years, at least to learn skills, to train on site in a place like this, and earn a bit as well, which is a brilliant opportunity. The investment from INEOS is not just securing jobs, but has also expanded the research and analytical testing that takes place in the site's state-of-the-art laboratory. We have had over £750,000 invested in the lab and that has gone towards creating new laboratory areas such as the one that we're in at the moment and also to buying new analytical equipment which has allowed us to increase the scope of the analysis that we can do and the fact that we have a future means that we can continue to grow our business. So this area was all planned where the new HQ is. And up on the roof of the new headquarters here, I learn more about the regeneration plans for the site and the ambition to invite other businesses to join INEOS to create a leading chemical and sciences manufacturing hub. We're in the middle probably of a, a five-year plan here on site and so far we've demolished nine plants and five buildings. It would be nice to now use that free area to bring in murdered investment in, uh, potential third parties um, and really to develop the site for the future for INEOS and also for the local community and bring good value jobs here to Grangemouth. The teams here are removing old redundant plant to make way for new investment. And from the dark days that saw this site come close to closure, a new golden future now beckons.